everyone welcome to my channel god bless you have you been hope you are doing well you are blessed and lifted in jesus name if is far from you, you are welcome this is a great channel full of god's words prophecies prayers word of um um uh, knowledge we have the little bible in audio playlist on the channel subscribe and stay with us and be blessed praise god I want to tell you today the benefits of being born again. You know, in my video, in almost all my videos, I ask, are you born again? If not, give your life to Christ. Praise God. And I always say to you, born again is the best thing that can happen to any man on earth. What are the benefits of being born again? The benefits of being born again cannot be overemphasized. Hallelujah. Because to be born again, just take you out of the ordinary. You know, when Adam and, Adam and Eve sinned, Sin came to the world and man became a sinful nature. So anyone that is born now, any baby that is born, that baby is born into sin. That baby has a sinful nature. So to be born again means when that baby grows up and is of an age that he now knows between right and wrong, you know, you know the baby now gives his own life, to, the child gives his own life to Christ. Just like you and I, you know, you give your life to Christ. How? By you believing in Jesus Christ, that yes, he is Lord, he is the Son of God, that yes, he came and died for the sins of the world, and he was buried, and the third day he rose up again. When you believe it, with your mouth, you confess it. That's how you give your life to Christ. That's how you get born again. That means you have now been born a second time. Because we were born before by your parents into sin, to the sinful nature, cause. But it's not Adam and Eve. Now you'll be born again when you say that prayer of salvation. You'll be born a second time into the into the uh the kingdom of God. This time you'll be born of God. This time around, you'll be born of God this time around. You were born by your parents first into the sinful nature. You were born again by saying the prayer of salvation. You'll not be born of God. Hallelujah. That's not born again. It's very important to be born again because this word is a word that it's so challenging, full of sin, because there's no Adam and Eve, full of sin. It's, so if you are born again, it gives you a, a, an edge over sin. It gives you an edge over the challenges of this world. Yes, you may feel, you may also, of course, but you are, you are living in this world, come across challenges. But the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him from them all. You are more sure of deliverance. Than the person that doesn't know God at all. You are, you are more sure. I'll give you an example. The Bible contains a lot of words that are full of encouragement, comfort. For example, in Isaiah 43, it says, Fear not, for I am with you. I will help you. I will comfort you. I will uphold you with my right hand. You know, this is in, in the Bible that a Christian can read and a Christian will relax and say, Oh, God says, No fear. And you know, fear. And that will encourage you. For example, during the coronavirus, uh, period that it was so hot many Christians went back to the Word of God the Bible to go and find their comfort to go and find a word that will help them that will keep their heart keep them keep them sane and keep them you know calm but if you're not a born again Christian you don't have access to all this you don't know the you don't have the word of God you don't know it you don't know where to find any scripture and you just left open when there's an attack like the coronavirus came you don't you, that many unbelievers we don't know where to run to we don't know how to pray we don't know how to help but in that case god had to help you we knew all, we all know how that case went hallelujah you may say oh, some christians were so affected yes maybe they were also affected but the word of god remains that many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord will deliver him from them all. the righteous did they say many are the afflictions of everybody he said they're righteous, meaning who is the righteous? The Christian. The Lord will deliver him from them all. So the Christian have more hope, you know, they have more opportunity to enjoy that God's word that brings comfort and that, that, that brings hope. Hallelujah. They have something to look up to in life. Hallelujah. They have something to look up to. They have that hope, that faith in God. But if you're not a Christian, you don't have any faith in anything when there's trouble. That's one of the benefits of being a Christian. And uh, there are a lot of benefits. Let me share this one for you. Let me next time come with more benefits. And this one benefit I just shared is so great and important because life is full of challenges. If you're not a Christian, don't believe in God, who do you run to in big cases? Like some people, they just take their own life and just kill themselves. 
because they don't have God to run to. They don't have the word of God to go and say, what does the word of God say? Oh, he says, oh, it will help me. Or oh, he says, I should not fear. Or oh, he says, joy comes in the morning. Bible says, joy comes in the morning. But if, I'm not, if you're an unbeliever, you don't have all those words. You don't know where it is in the Bible. Maybe you haven't heard them before. Nothing to, com- to comfort you. Nothing. And these words are not ordinary words from the Bible. They are powerful. They come with power. When you read them and you see them, the comfort comes suddenly on you, on your spirit and on you, and you calm down. And it gives you a sense of, you know, of, of protection. Because this word of God, the Bible says, is sharper than it was just sword. It's not ordinary words. The Bible will read some other words. They are powerful words. So when you read them, they don't read them for for reading's sake. They come and they help and they they, they, are, they act in you. I will stop here for today. So please, if you're not born again, say pray after me and give your life to Christ. Believe in Christ. We say, Lord Jesus, today I accept you into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I believe you died for me. On the third day, you rose up again from the dead. Lord Jesus, from now on, I'm yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me i bless your name and i thank you from now on i will serve you and follow you in jesus name amen